Hi YouTubers, welcome back. This is the ninth video in our video series on making a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. In prior videos, we went over how to calculate the legal moves for three pieces, the knight, the bishop, and the rook. And recall that I mentioned that the legal move calculation for a rook and a bishop were very similar. That's why the video on uh, the determining the legal moves for a rook was so short. We were able to sort of copy and paste based on the behavior of a bishop. Well, in this video, we're going to we're also going to be able to copy and paste because the queen's legal moves are uh, the union, uh, you know, of the two piece types for a bishop and a, um, a a rook. That is to say, if I were a queen sitting on a particular square on the board, um, then and then what? In order to find what my legal moves are, you could uh, place a rook and a bishop on that square and ask what are its those the legal moves for each of those pieces. Well, if you take all of those and uh, and combine them, uh, you would then have the legal moves for queen. So let's start by creating a new Java class, and we're going to call it a queen. We're going to say that it extends a piece. And of course, here we're going to need to implement our methods. And create constructor matching super. Right, and let's go ahead and split vertically. And let's move the, let's view the bishop on the left side and the queen, the newly created queen class on the right side. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all, oops. I'm going to copy all of this here over. And I'm also going to have my candidate vector. And so really, all we need to do, the only updates we need to make are to determine what the candidate vectors are. and um, it's no surprise the candidate vector is the union of the two candidate vectors from the bishop and the rook. So here what we can do is, so if I look at the rook it's minus 8, minus 1, 1 and 8. For the bishop it's minus 9, minus 7, 7 and 9. So it's going to be the union of those two things. So what I'll do here is I'll say minus 9 and I'm going to order these uh, in terms of their, just sort of their numerical ordering, minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 1, 1, 7, 8, and 9. So you see what I did there? I just inserted the um, those rook locations into the existing bishops minus 8, minus 1, 1, and 8. I just sort of inserted them in here into our candidate uh, move vectors. And the only other thing that I need to do is I need to update the exclusions. Okay, so let's remember what the exclusion was for the first column for a bishop. Remember, I, I, temp I took the template here from the bishop class. We said that if I'm uh, on the first column and I'm going in the minus 9 direction or in the 7 direction, well, that doesn't really work out for me. And if I'm a rook and I'm going in the minus 1 direction, that doesn't work out for me. So let's just add that in. So candidate offset is equal to minus 1 or, right? Is that what I said? Mine was minus 1 or 1? Yeah, minus 1. And the eighth column exclusion, all we have to do is add 1. So minus 7, 
or candidate offset. One. Yep. And I'm going to claim that that's it. Now, I want to I want to make a couple points here. I have yet to develop a single unit test. Okay, so uh, I wanted to get us to a, a particular point where we can um, create moves on a board. And, and we'll then transition into writing some uh, unit tests for, uh, you know, to, to, to test our code and make sure that the code that we've written so far is correct. So far, I'm just sort of asking you to trust me. I've, I've written this code out all in, in the past, um, and we might discover, I'm doing this sort of live, so we might discover some co uh, bugs along the way, but that's okay, because we're going to step through each one and fix them. Um, but yeah, here we have now uh, the uh, legal move calculation engine for a queen. Um, and I want to also mention that I apologize for not having made a video in the last couple weeks. Uh, there were some uh, personal things that came up that uh, prevented me from continuing the series. Um, but uh, now I'm back on track. Um, and um, we will pick up in the next video on uh, the legal move calculations for a pawn, which are different. So that video is going to be uh, longer. Okay, thank you.